Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. I will bless his holy name. Good morning. Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Declare his glory among the heathens, his wonders among all people. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him all the earth. Consecrate us now to thy service, Lord, by the power of grace divine. Let our souls look up with a steadfast hope, and our will be lost and thine. It's worship time, y'all. Uh, can I get somebody to make some noise in here? It's worship time. It's worship time. We need to make a joyful noise unto the God of our salvation. Amen. It was him who woke us up early this morning. It was him that gave us the use and activity of our limbs. It was him who gave us a voice that we could come into this house and give him praise. So why don't the saints of God come on and get on your feet, make a joyful noise. The Lord is good and his mercy is everlasting and his truth and truth to all generations. Oh, bless the Lord. Come on and give him glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. We come to give him praise on this morning. And we want you to let go this morning. Let God. Let him have his way. Amen. In this place. And we're going to invite you to join in with the choir. Amen. As we lift up our hymn, we're going to invite you to worship with us this morning as we give God glory. Certainly we do honor the name of Jesus who is our Christ. So what a wonderful Savior he is. Amen. To our beautiful First Lady, my wife, the apple of my eye. God bless you on this morning. To all the preachers and all the officers. To all of you God's children. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. To all of you that have joined us by social media, Zoom, you YouTube, whatever way you join us, Facebook, we're glad to have you this morning. Come on and bless the Lord with us. Amen. 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 We ask that you would just bow your heads as we approach the throne of grace this morning. Eternal God, our Father, God is so good just to be in your presence one more time. And God, we come this morning, we offer unto you a sacrifice of praise. God, we give you glory this morning. We give you praise, God. We give you honor for you are an awesome God. Realizing, God, that we may have had a tough week, but God, we forget about it this weekend. We come to magnify your name. Realizing, God, that we may have had some troubles on yesterday, but we forget about it, those troubles, and we're going to bless your name. So, God, have your way in this place. We invoke your presence, God, that you'll do what you want to do. Oh, God, that you'll let your Chicago of glory fill this house. Let a fresh anointing fall in this place. Let anointing that would destroy every yoke of heaviness, every yoke of burden, every yoke of sorrow. God, that we will lift up our voices and give you glory. You are an awesome God. God, we pray that your anointing fall fresh on this choir. God, and as we stand in this pulpit, let your anointing have right away. In the pews, God, let your anointing have right away. God, for we come to magnify you. We acknowledge there's none like you. So, God, we give you glory. We give you honor, God, and we give you praise. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. And the church say amen, 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 amen. and amen. We're going to ask that you join in, amen, with this choir as they come this morning. Hymn number 51 in your hymnist. Let us sing and bless the Lord together. Hold to God's unchanging hand.
unchanging hand a hand that will never let you fall amen if we hold on to God's unchanging hand if we know that everything will be all right amen amen again we greet you in Jesus joy it's my prayer that you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving uh, to spend time with family and friends and giving thanks to God. Amen. And watching football. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Certainly we're grateful to God for just being a good God. Amen. I'm so happy to see Parrish on this morning. God bless you, Parrish. Amen. Good to see you home. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. We're glad you came home because your mom came back. <laughs> to God be the glory. Amen. We're certainly gracious to God on this morning. And we invite you this morning just to come on and just let, have a, let us have a good time in the Lord. Amen. 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 God is an awesome God. And as we continue to worship him on this morning, we will now have our scripture. Uh, read by Sister Nalena that she will come and read us our scripture. Amen. And after that we will be led in prayer by Sister Nala. If you will receive them on this morning. May you please stand for the scripture. And I'll be coming from Psalms 107, verses 1 through 6. Psalms 107, verses 1 through 6. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endurance forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord tell their story. For those, those he redeemed from the hand of the foe, those he granted from the lands, from the east and west, from the north and south. Some wandered in the desert wastelands, finding no way to a city where they could settle. They were hungry, hungry and thirsty, and their lives ebbed away. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. May God have a blessing to his red word. Amen. 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 Please bow your head for a word of prayer. Father, it's me, once again, so graciously, so humbly, stretching myself out before your throne of grace, thanking you for another day's journey, realizing that if it had not been for you, God, who was on our side, God, where will we be, Father? Thank you for touching us with your divine finger of love this morning, God, and enabling us, God, to move our limbs, God. It's nobody but you, God. Thank you for rocking us, God, all night long, God. Nobody can hold me like you can. Nobody can rock me like you can. God, somebody came here burdened and heavy laden, God. Somebody came here looking for rest, God. But remind them on today, God, that you are a burden bearer, God. You are a heavy load sharer, God. God, we just want to say thank you. God, we just want to say thank you. You are still the great I am, God. You still sit on the throne, God. And we worship you, God. We ask that you continue to look over our world on today, God. There's so many that are grieving, so many that 
that are yes. hurting, God. Yes, yes. So many that are in need of a Savior, God. Yes, but you are a wonderful Savior, yes, God. God. You are a wonderful counselor, God. R remind us on today, God, that you will be a friend yes. until the very end, God. Yes. God, I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. God, I just want to say thank you, God. Thank you for being all that you are in my life, Father yes, God. Lord. Thank you for loving us, God, in Jesus. spite of us, God. Jesus. In spite of our own, God. In spite of our flesh, God. You still love us. And you still treat us the same, God. Yes, God. So yes. for that, we just want to say thank you, God. You are still Jehovah Jireh, God. Yes. You are still Jehovah Nisi, God. Uh -huh. And we worship you on today, God. In the name of we ask that now you allow your glory to settle here, God. Yes, God. For if your glory settles, uh -huh. every chain and, and every shrunk hold will be broken, God. Yes, God. Yes, every God. yoke will be destroyed, God. Yes, God. Use us for your glory, God. Move in the minds and the hearts of these your people, God, who have come, God, in need for something, God. I ask that you meet them at their every need, God. And do what only you can, God. Yes, yes. Somebody came in need of healing, God. Jesus. Remind them on today that you are the great physician, God. Yes, yes. And what machines and, and medicines can't do, God, God. only God. you can do it, yes, God. Yes. So we just want to say thank you. Thank God. God. We love you on today, God. Thank you, Father, thank you, God. for being my best friend. Yes, yes. My mountain mover. Yes, yes. My bridge over troubled waters, thank God. You, Lord. Thank you. I love you on today, God. And I worship you. Mm -hmm. We ask all these things in your mighty son's name. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Nalina, for reminding us that we ought to give thanks unto the Lord. Amen. Not because of what he has blessed you with, uh, but for the simple fact that he's good. Amen. Amen. That's what the psalmist said, didn't it? Say, oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is good. And then we do know that his mercy endures forever. Uh, the reason that we're here right now is because of his mercy. Uh, that endures forever. Amen. 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 I, that's why we all give him thanks, y'all. That's why we all give him praise. And then she went on to say that another reason we all give him praise is because he redeemed us. Huh? Uh, that, that means that we had to be brought back. Yes. Amen. And he did that for us by sending his son. Amen. That's why we ought to be thankful. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. We just thank God for the word on this morning. Thank God for Nala and the prayer. Amen. And we thank God for you this morning. And as we continue to worship our Christ. Amen. The choir is going to come and bless us again. And we ask that you just join in and let us praise the Lord.
Thank you, choir. Amen. This morning we are so grateful to our Heavenly Father for another chance to stand before you. And uh, we just love the Lord this morning. And uh, when I think of all that God has done for us and, and all that he's doing in our lives, amen, sometimes I wonder, amen, how we can sit so quiet. Amen. 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 The very breath that we breathe, it comes from God. Amen. Amen. The very food that's on your table. Hey, you might have went to the store and picked it up, but it was God that provided. Amen. Amen. The health that's in our bodies. Amen. We might think it's because we exercise. Uh, but because God is merciful. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So we just love the Lord on this morning. We thank God for you. Thank God that he is a keeper. Yeah. Amen. 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 When we look at all the uh, craziness that's going on in this world that we live in today. Amen. Uh, and I look at us. Uh, I just tell God thank you. Yeah. Amen. It's not because that we've been so good. Amen, amen, that the enemy have not uh, attacked us. Amen, but God has stood in between us. Amen, and he shielded and protected us. Amen, so we have something that we ought to praise God for. Amen, 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 amen. I want you, uh, you to take note this morning of the announcements as they are given, amen, that we shall consider and be a part of the ministry that is going on here at First New Light, amen. Um, we know that Christmas is coming up, and um, Sister Witt is not here today, but we do have a project going on, amen, here in the church so that we might be a blessing to those that are in need, uh, maybe some child in the schoolhouse. Uh, someone in our community. Uh, so Sister Whitted is asking that uh, we bring socks and toe bargains and gloves, amen, and that we will uh, leave them here, and then the missionary department will make sure that they get to those that need them. Uh, so again, uh, on behalf of her, I'm appealing to all of you uh, church members, amen, to be a giver. Amen. It's more blessed to give than to receive. Amen. Give and God will give back to you. And that what Strip said. Amen. Amen. And He just don't give you a little bit. Amen. The Bible says He'll give it to you, pressed down, shaking together, and running over. Amen. Just because you give a little bit. Amen. 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 So we thank God for your uh, desire. We're praising them for it in the band. We thank God for your desire to give. Amen. That he might bless you. Amen. 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 Also, we're uh, reminded that the Christmas concert will be held at Beauty Spot on December 3rd at 5 p.m. Uh, some of our children are in that concert, and we are so grateful that they are there. Uh, we ask that you would just go and support them uh, in this endeavor. Amen. That they sing praises and uh, songs unto God. So we ask that you go and support them. Uh, also, we want to remind you that on the 10th of December at 9 a.m., that's the second Saturday in December, that we will be having our church conference. Uh, we would love for you to come and be a part of that conference, amen, so that uh, we can uh, discuss the business of the church and anything else that you might want to bring forth, amen, at that time. So please, ma'am, please, sir, come and be a part of our conference. The Sisters Union will be uh, take place on the third Saturday, the third Saturday uh, in December uh, at the... Uh, Baptist Union, Missionary Baptist Church, uh, and that project is still going forth. 
where our president is asking for coats. If you have a uh, slightly used coat, a uh, good used coat, uh, if you want to purchase a new coat, we ask that you go do that and bring that and have it here by the third Saturday in December so that uh, Sister Whitted will be able to carry them to uh, the Sisters Union. So we're doing stuff on our state level as well as our local level. Uh, ask that you continue to pray for a church, pray for our community. Amen. Uh, and I can't say enough uh, as we look at news every day. Amen. Pray for the violence uh, in, uh, in our neighborhood and in our community. Amen. That God will stretch out his healing hand of mercy. Amen. And heal us. Amen. 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 Uh, Reverend Sinclair wants you to know that he will be doing the eulogy on December 3rd. That's Saturday for one of his co-workers, uh, Mr. Charles Ivory, Charles Ivory, uh, who had worked for him for 20 years. Amen, he passed away and they will be doing his services at Heron Funeral Home uh, on the 3rd at 12 p.m. Amen, he will be bringing forth that eulogy. So pray for him, that God will give him strength to do it, amen. Uh, and again, we can't say enough how grateful we are to God for all that he's doing here at First New Light and in your lives. Amen. We can see the blessings of God. So continue to pray for one another. And we thank God this morning that early at 830, we were able to come here. Amen. And witness the baptism. Amen. Of Sister Doris Henry. Y'all come on and praise the Lord. Amen. 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 They got it on the string. They learning how to work that thing back there. Amen. The picture, Sister Doris. <laughs> Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. That is a great thing. Amen. And, and that's something that we all have truly prayed God for. Amen. The angels in heaven were rejoicing. Amen. 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 So to God be the glory. Amen. Now, we're getting ready now uh, to sit down, but we want to remind you that our Bible study will be uh, in-house on Wednesday night. Wednesday night. Wednesday night. Our instructor is uh, none other than Reverend Janice Robinson. Amen. Doing an excellent job. Amen. Amen. In the book of Second Peter. Amen. Amen. Uh, the, they're, they're building, they're building uh, uh, right now. They're building a blueprint. Right. Amen. Amen. So come and, and enjoy and be a part of it. Amen. 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 Now, we will not be on a uh, conference call this week. We won't be on conference call this week. Amen. So you're going to have to come in house. If you want to find out what's going on. We're going to need you to come in house. Amen. Amen. Reverend Roberts will be waiting at the well at the deacons, and they'll be waiting on you. Right. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Pray for us. We'll be uh, out of town for a few days, and, but uh, uh, we're always in reach. So pray for us. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Uh, at this time, we're going to ask the choir if they will come and rent us a next selection. And after this selection from the choir, we'll be back and share the word of God with you. Buy an angel. 
Joseph was his earthly father. Three wise men came from afar. They were guided by a shining star to see King Jesus where he lay. Talking about Jesus, oh, Jesus, oh, what a wonderful child, my Lord, Jesus, he's so holy, new life, new hope, listen, glory, By an angel born in a lowly manger, the Virgin Mary was his chosen mother, and Joseph was his earthly father. Three wise men came from afar, they were guided by a shining star to see King Jesus where he lay in a manger filled with hay talking about Jesus oh Jesus oh, oh what a wonderful child my Lord Jesus he's so holy new life new hope To God be the glory. Thanks be to God. Thank you, choir. This morning, for a brief moment, I would like to draw your attention to the Old Testament, the book of Jeremiah, the eighth chapter verses 17 through 22. Jeremiah chapter 8 verses 17 through 22. Will you bow your heads and pray with me? Eternal God, our Father, God, we come now with thanksgiving in our heart. And as we stand here behind this sacred desk, God, we need your strength and we need your power. Lord, speak that we might hear what the Spirit says unto the church. Have thine own way. And God, as you have your way, I pray that Obi will sit down and you stand up. Hide me behind the cross that they will not see me, but they'll see you. So God, have your way today. For we need a word from you. And God, if we don't hear from you, we don't know what to do. But God, we thank you for your word. And thank you that we grow strength through your word. Lord, so bless us now by your word. That we may hide your word in our hearts. That we might not sin against thee. So, Lord, we give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you praise. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Jeremiah, chapter 8. Jeremiah is known as the weeping prophet. And it seemed like every word or every message that he wrote was a message of doom. Um, but really in Jeremiah's writing uh, there is a message of hope. Uh, and as we look at the text today in chapter 8 again at verse 17 it said, Behold, I will send serpents 
cockatrice among you, which will not be charmed, and they shall bite you, says the Lord. When I would comfort myself against sorrow, my heart is faint in me. Behold the voice of the cry of the daughter of my people because of them that dwell in a far country. Is not the Lord in Zion? Is not her king in her? Why have they provoked me to anger with their graven images and with strange vanities? The harvest is past. The summer is ended. And we are not saved. For the hurt of the daughters of my people am I hurt. I'm black. Astonishment has taken hold on me. Is there no bomb in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is not the health of the daughters of my people recovered? I want to talk this morning from a question. And the question this morning from our topic is, God, where are you? Is there no bomb in Gilead? God, where are you? Is there no bomb in Gilead? The writer said, is there no king in Zion? Uh, I come this morning also to encourage you that there's still a bomb. There's still a bomb in the world today. Uh, my brothers and sisters, when we look at all that's happening in the world, if you're not rooted and grounded in Jesus, it is easy to become discouraged. And like the writer of our text, we might ask the question, God, where are you? Uh, and can I back up and say, even when you are rooted in Christ, uh, there may come a time in your life when you feel like you have been abandoned. And we too will ask God sometimes, God, where are you? So, uh, like the disciples who walked with God, when they were in the middle of the sea, in the middle of a storm, they asked the question, God, cares not that we perish? And the most notable cry of all is when Jesus was hanging on the cross. He himself cried out, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Uh, my brothers and sisters, we have just celebrated the day of giving thanks. And Christmas is right around the corner. And during this season, there are a lot of people who experience the feelings of abandonment. And there are times, uh, uh, there will be times uh, when you feel that God has abandoned you. When you lose loved ones, such as the loss of a child. When you can't see your way, you are wondering what tomorrow will hold. When your mind is troubled and it seems like Satan had released all the demons in hell to destroy you. The question may arrive, my brothers and sisters, God, where are you? Is there still a bomb in Gilead? But I want to encourage somebody this morning who might be asking this question. Somebody might be troubled. Somebody might be going through a storm. And, and you might be questioning God. And you might be asking God, God, where are you? Well, I stopped by to let you know this morning that there still is a bomb in Gilead. 
And not only is he a balm in Gilead, but he is the answer to every problem that you might face. A little background from our text. Uh, the prophet Jeremiah was called to the pathetic ministry in a time somewhat like we are facing today. The people was corrupt, disobedient, and their ears had grown dull concerning the word of God. Things had gotten so bad until God announced judgment upon Judah. It is important, my brothers and sisters, to note that this is not a people that did not know God, but the very one that he has chosen to be his. Uh, Jeremiah had a great love for God, and he served God with a passion. Although sometimes he didn't enjoy what he was doing, but he served God with a passion. He also had a great love for the people of Israel and did not want to see them have to go through what was coming upon them. So here in our text, the prophet Jeremiah questioned God. And he asked, is the Lord not here? Uh, sometimes they get rough. Amen. And we feel abandoned. Anybody ever felt that way? And you might ask God, God, where are you? Is there no bomb in Gilead? Is there no physician there? In other words, God, where are you? Aren't you here anymore? When we look at all the things that are happening today, not just in the world, but also among the people who have confessed Jesus Christ as Lord, when we see all the corruption from the White House, in the White House, in the courthouse, you know, all around us, and yet sometimes in the church house. When we look at all the lawlessness and all the idolatry, men are making gods of themselves. You know, people are so caught up in trying to plead themselves until when we look at all the immorality that's in the world and in the church, all the diseases that seem to be breaking out all over the land. Yeah, this seemed to be a good question. God, where are you? But Deuteronomy 31 and 8, it reminds us. The Bible reminds us that it is the Lord that does good before us. It is the Lord, and he will be with us. He will not fail us, neither forsake us. And he tells us to fear not, neither be dismayed. Also, he reminds us in Hebrews 13 and 5, that Jesus will never leave us, nor forsake us. Do I have any witnesses in here? So here in our text, God has given Jeremiah a message to the, of the impending destruction that was about to come upon Judah because of the way that they were living. They had turned away from the God that had created them. And when you look at America today, my brothers and sisters, we are headed down the same road. And then we wonder in our mind, God, where are you? Second Chronicles 7 and 14, the Bible declares and reminds us, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. My brothers and sisters, that is a message of hope. So be not dismayed, my brothers and sisters. God has not forgotten about us because there's still a bomb 
in Gilead. God is still with us. But the question is, are we still with God? The poet T.S. Eliot, in 1934, he examined the state of culture and society in his time, and he wrote this poem. All our knowledge brings us near to our ignorance. All our ignorance brings us near to death. But nearness to death, not nearer to God. Where is the life we have lost in living? Where is the wisdom we have lost in knowledge? And where is the knowledge we have lost in information? So the problem, my brothers and sisters, is not that God isn't with us anymore, but that we are no longer near to God. In many of our services, we have chained worship to rituals. We have chained praise to routine. We come in and routinely clap our hands. We come in and routinely say amen. We come in and routinely say hallelujah. Can I get a witness? And our service to God has become religion rather than worship. And when the power of God don't show up in our worship and in our time of need, we look around and we wonder and we ask the question, God, where are you? But I hear the voice of God saying, I'm still here. There's still a bomb in Gilead. Jeremiah was one of Judah's greatest prophets. He was called to minister during the darker days of Judah's history. Jeremiah is known as the weeping prophet. He was called to carry a word to a people who did not want to hear his message. And so it is today, my brothers and sisters, the preachers are called to preach a message to a people who have grown dull in the hearing. And many of them do not care for the message that we have been given to tell. But is there anybody in this house know that God has not forsaken us? God has not turned his back on us. For God is still able to do abundantly above all that we can imagine or think. Is there anybody in this house that know that God is still a bomb in Gilead? For you didn't have food on your table. God provided food for you to eat. When you were sick in your body, God provided health in your body. When your mind was troubled, God gave you peace of mind. Is there anybody in this place that know that God is still a bomb in Gilead and he's still healing the sin sick whole? Can I have a witness in here? When we look at the word bomb, the bomb back in the Old Testament, it was a healing ointment made from the copamara tree, a tree that was grown in Palestine. If you remember, it was one of the gifts that were presented to Jesus by the wise men, known as myrrh. There, so here in our text, Jeremiah is making a spiritual reference to the healing power of God. Is anybody in this place know that God still heals? Amen. We done been through COVID. Now we're going through the flu. We've been going through our pox and all these other pox. But God is still on the throne. So in the New Testament, Jesus is given this palm, this mom to show that healing exists only in him. I heard the singwriter say, because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know he holds the future. My life is worth living just because he lives. You ought to tell somebody there's still a bomb in Gilead. Can I get a witness? 
The reason why there's still a bomb in Gilead is because when we was down, it was him who picked us up. In our weakness, it was him who gives us strength. When we're lonely, it's Jesus who is our friend. When we're sick, he is our doctor. And whenever we're in need, he is our provider. Do I have a witness in here? There's still a bomb in Gilead. Another hymn writer picked up his pen and he wrote, Sometimes I feel discouraged and thank my works in vain. Anybody ever feel like that? But then the Holy Spirit revives my soul again. There is a bomb in Gilead to make the wounded whole. There is a bomb in Gilead to heal the sin sick soul. So my brothers and sisters, in spite of what's going on in the world, in spite of what's going on in your life, I dare you to look to Jesus because he is our hope, he is our trust, he is our help, and he is our deliverer. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. And in all your ways, when you acknowledge him, God will direct your path. This morning, as I get ready to take my seat, you may not be able to preach like Paul. Uh, you may not be able to pray like John. But you can tell the love of Jesus. And you can tell everybody he died for us all. You can tell somebody there's a bomb in Gilead to make the wounded whole. There's a bomb in Gilead to heal the sin sick whole. Sin sick soul. It is time, my brothers and sisters, that we do all that we can to work for the master. For the Bible tells us that we ought to work wise day. Because night is coming after while. And when night coming, the, no man can work. You ought to put your time in the, while the sun is shining. Because the S-O-N is coming back. And he's coming back for a church without spot or wrinkle. But I stopped by to tell you this morning that you ought to put your trust in the Lord. For he is uh, the bomb in Gilead. He is uh, our way maker. He is uh, our deliverer. He is uh, our provider. He is our doctor in a sick room. Uh, there is a bomb in Gilead. Uh, and he's still saving the sin sick soul. Uh, if you want to be healed, uh, you ought to call on the name of Jesus. Uh, if you want to be healed, uh, you ought to call on the name of Jesus. Uh, if you need help, in your trouble time, huh? you ought to call on the name of Jesus. Huh? For he is a bomb in Gilead, huh? and he's healing today. Huh? He's delivering today. Huh? He's making a way today. Huh? He's, uh, he's, he's, he's saving today. Can I get a witness in here? <laughs> the hymn writer wrote, Don't ever feel discouraged for Jesus is your friend and if you lack knowledge he'll never refuse to lend there is a bomb in Gilead to make the wounded whole there is a bomb in Gilead to heal the sensitive soul so when you get in a place where you seem like you have been abandoned. When you get to that place where it seemed like you have been forgotten, uh, I want you to know that there's still a bomb in Gilead. Yeah. And even though your heart is troubled, and you might wonder, God, 
Where are you? I come by to tell you, he's still on the throne. He's still looking out for us. He's still providing for us. He's still making a way for us. He's still fighting our battles. Can I get a witness in here? Uh, he's still changing lives. Uh, he's still saving the sinner. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, there still is a bomb in Gilead. Uh, and he's healing the sin sick soul. Uh, so when you look around and you don't know what to do. Uh, and you're wondering God where are you? Uh, just know that God is near. Uh, he's holding your hand. Uh, he's walking with you. Huh? He'll talk with you. Huh? And he'll tell you that everything huh, is going to be all right. Huh? Can I get a witness in here? Huh? I'm so glad huh, that I serve a God huh, who will never leave me, huh, not forsake me. Huh? I'm glad huh, that I serve a God huh, that when I'm in trouble, huh, he'll come down huh, and see about me. Huh? When the winds of war huh, is raging against me, huh? I'm so glad uh, that I have a God uh, who will fight my battle. Uh, for I heard uh, uh, David say, uh, the Lord is uh, my light uh, and my salvation. Uh, whom shall I fear? Uh, the Lord is uh, the strength of my life. Uh, whom shall I be afraid? Uh, when the wicked, uh, even my enemies, uh, came upon me uh, to eat up my flesh, uh, David said they stumbled and they fell. Uh, what you saying, Willie? Uh, there still is a bomb in Gilead, uh, and he's making a way out of no way. There still is uh, a bomb in Gilead, uh, and his name is Jesus. Uh, I'm so glad. There's still a bomb in Gilead. So when you don't know what to do, when you can't see your way, and your soul will have you to ask the question, God, where are you? Just know that God is near. For the Bible declares he's an ever-present help in the time of trouble. You might not can see him, but you all trust that he's near. You might not always feel him, but you all trust that he's near. Why? Because God is not a God that he will lie. What he promised, that he will do. So my brothers and sisters, even in your darkest hour, when your soul may be in despair, when you don't know where to turn. And you're wondering where our God. Just know that God is with you. He will hold your hand. He will guide you. And he will hold you up. In your weakest hour. Because there's still a bomb. In Gilead. And it's healing. The sin sick soul. God bless you this morning. May heaven smile upon you. Know that God is with you. You're never alone. Because God is with you. Friends will walk away from you. But you need to know God is with you. Your money will run out on you. But you need to know that God is with you. The enemy will rise up against you. But you need to know that God is with you. And because he's with you, there is a bomb still in Gilead who's healing the sin sick soul. We stand on your feet this morning. Stand on your feet and let's give God praise. So even in a message of doom. God gives us hope. Even in the darkness, God will give us light. 
if we look to him. Even in our deepest sorrow, God will give us comfort. Because he's that kind of God. And all we have to do is lean on him. Trust him. And he won't let you fall. So today, we thank God for the word. God's letting us know that he's still available. And as you're standing all over this building, I don't know how to stand between you and God. Only you know that. But if you search your soul and you find that there's a void in, that you need Jesus in your life because you have never confessed him as Lord of your life. Jesus wanted to save you today. He said, come unto me, all you that are burdened and heavy laden, and I give you rest. He said, take my yoke upon you and learn of me because my yoke is easy and my burden is light. If you're here today and you never confess the Lord Jesus, why don't you come and give him your life today? There might be someone that's watching us by YouTube, Facebook, or Zoom. And you're listening to us today and we're speaking directly to you. You're saying, Pastor, I need Jesus in my life. And how do I ask Jesus to come into my life? It's as simple as talking to him. You might be sitting there on your bedside in your pajamas. You might be sitting at the kitchen table. You might be sitting on the couch in the living room. But I'm speaking to you this morning. If you don't know Jesus, we can ask Jesus to save you today. And all you got to do is open up your mouth and ask God to forgive you of your sins. Will you pray this prayer? Will you pray this prayer and, and believe God today? For the Bible declared that whosoever should call upon the name of Jesus, of the Lord, and believe that God had raised him from the dead, it said that thou shalt be saved. So will you pray this prayer and say, Dear God, I confess that I am a sinner and I need you in my life. But I heard through the word of God that if I should call upon your name and believe that on the name of your son Jesus and that you raised him from the dead that I can be saved. So God, I, I believe that today I'm receiving that by faith that Jesus died for me. And God, your word tells me that I am saved. So, God, thank you for saving me. For I was a wretch undone. But God, now I surrender my life to you. That you will be my Savior. You will be my Lord. That you will order my steps. That you will guide me. As I began this new walk with you. So Lord I give you glory. I give you my thanks. I give you my praise. For salvation right now through the blood of Jesus. This is my prayer in Jesus name. Amen. And the Bible declared that if you prayed that prayer. And you believe that in your heart. You're not in the church, but the church is in you. And the Bible said you are saved. But I want to encourage you that if you're sitting at home and you hear this message today and hear this word of God preached and you have given your life to Jesus, 
that you get up and sometime this week or next Sunday make your way out to a church and let the pastor and the people of that church know that you have been saved by the blood of Jesus that you are watching YouTube you watching Facebook, you watching Zoom, and, yeah, yeah. And, and you pray the prayer, the sinner's prayer, receive Christ, and that Christ is in your life. Yeah. All right. All right. And then join yourself to a church where the word is being preached, where the word is being taught, that God will continue to keep you and bless you. God bless you this morning. May heaven smile upon you, and may God keep you in his care. The doors of the church is open for anyone that desires prayer. You may be here and you desire prayer. You need something from the Lord today. We invite you to come. I invite you to come. We might pray together. We might believe God together. There's still a bomb. In Gilead. And whatever you need from him today, God is still passing out. He's still passing out healings. He's still passing out blessings. He's still passing out his strength. Most of all, he's passing out his love. So whatever you need today, just lift it up before Jesus. So God wants you to be blessed. He said, catch your cares upon me because I care for you. As we approach the throne of grace, we ask that you bow your heads. Precious God, Father. It's again that we approach the throne of grace. And God, as we come to you this morning, we, uh, first of all, say thank you. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for being a way maker. Thank you for being our redeemer and, and our help, our savior. God, we thank you this morning. And then, God, we ask that you would search us. Search our thoughts our heart and our mind and God if you find anything that will hinder you from moving on our behalf God forgive us and cleanse us from all our sins by our transgressions and our iniquities for God we need you we can't make it without you God, you are our strength. You are our redeemer. God, you are provider. You made ways so many times. And God, you're still making ways right now. And God, your word tells us that whatever we ask in your name, God, that you'll do. So God, just a few of your children have assembled around this altar. God, because they need your help. And God, don't know what all the situations are. But God, you know. And because you know, God, you alone can fix every situation. So God, right now, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you move on every situation. Pray that you move on every heart, every soul, every life that is standing before this altar. And God, whatever their request is, God, we're casting it at your feet. We're casting our cares upon you who said you cared for us. So God, move right now by the power of your spirit. Touch right now by the power of your Holy Ghost. 
move God only as you can. God, that your name shall be praised. Your name will get the glory. And the people of God will draw nigh to you. So God, we bless you now. Thank you for these, our saints. Keep them in thy care. So God, as they leave from this altar, we pray that you bless them in their going out and they're coming in. Be with them and build your heads around them. This we pray in the name of the Father. This we pray in the name of the Son and in the name of the Holy Ghost. And it's in Jesus' name we pray amen, amen. and amen. amen. Come on and give God a hand. Receive the blessings of the Lord. Receive the blessings of the Lord in Jesus' name. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, give God praise in the sanctuary. Amen. 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 What an awesome God we serve. So as we depart from this place, we pray that you continue to pray one for another. And know that God is with us. Amen. Amen. So as you go through this week, amen, and in your homes, know that God is with us. Amen, amen. And because he is a bomb, uh -huh. amen, whatever you need, uh -huh. God is still passing out. Yes. Can I get a witness? Yes. Amen, amen. Let us look to the Lord as we leave. We're going to ask you again to depart. And this door to my right, amen, there you will find the offering plate and the tithe plate. So we ask that you give as God has blessed you. It's more blessed to give than to receive. Let us look to the Lord, our Father and our God. We thank you for this day. Thank you for these, our people. Thank you for your word. Now, God, help us, Lord, that we will hide your word in our hearts, that we might not sin against you. So, God, keep us in thy care. And, God, as we prepare our hearts to give today, God, help us that we will give according to your great pleasure. God, that you might be glorified. Oh, God, you say give, and it shall be given unto you. So, God, we ask that you bless the hand of those that are going to give. Bless those that have the desire to give but do not have. Oh, God, we just give you praise. And we pray that this often be used for the building of your kingdom. That it bring forth 36 or 100 fold. This we pray in Jesus' name. Now may the grace of God, sweet communion of his Holy Spirit, may it rest, rule, and abide with us henceforth now and forevermore. Until we shall meet again. This we pray in Jesus' name. And we lift our voices together. Y'all did an awesome job.